In 1821, Major Charles Wilhelm Bulow acquired over 4,500 acres in Northeast Florida in today's Southern Flagler County. On this land, he built a large plantation named Bulowville, where sugarcane, cotton, rice, and indigo were grown and processed, all dependent upon the labor of almost 200 enslaved individuals. Soon after the plantation was established, Charles Bulow died and left the property to his son, John. John operated the plantation until U.S. troops seized it during the Seminole War. The site was abandoned in 1836 when the Seminole burned the plantation as well as other plantations in the area. The most iconic part of the site today are the remains of the large sugar processing facilities built from locally harvested coquina stone. It is here that the enslaved peoples toiled over hot boil kettles to process the cane down into sugar, molasses, and other byproducts. While these foundations survived the 19th century war and the 20th century's rapid development, in the 21st century, they stand at risk to being lost to climate-related impacts, including rising waters and increased storm events. In 2020, archaeologists with the Florida Public Archaeology Network used terrestrial laser scanning technology to document the site and create 3D point clouds such as the one you're viewing now. These data can be used to track changes to the site through time and serve as a record of what the site looked like today. <laughs>